Hello children, welcome back to mathematics class. Let us continue with the lesson factors and multiples. Next comes the concept of multiples. We have seen factors so far. The next part of the lesson is regarding multiples. So what are these multiples? How is it different from factors? Let us see. Multiples are what we get after multiplying the number by counting numbers. What are counting numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. These numbers are called counting numbers. So when you multiply a number by these counting numbers, we get the multiples. Easy. For example, the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 and it continues. Isn't it easy? How did I get these multiples? I multiply 3 first with 1, second with 2, then with 3, then with 4 and I continue to get the multiples. So 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9. In other words, this is like writing your tables. Correct? The product that we get when you multiply a number with the counting numbers is nothing but the multiple of that number. So in this case, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on are the multiples of 3. Okay? Let us continue. What is this? The table of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, what you write the tables, these are nothing but the multiples of 3. Clear? What are the properties of multiples then? How? To understand multiples better, let us understand its nature or let us understand its properties. Every number is a multiple of itself. What does it mean? 3 is a multiple of 3. 10 is a multiple of 10 because when you multiply 10 by 1 you get 10. So 10 is the multiple of 10. So every number is a multiple of itself. Clear? Every number is a multiple of 1. Correct? 1 has multiples like 1, 2, 3 because 1 1s one are 1, 1 2s are 2, 1 3s are 3 and you can multiply 1 with any number to get the same number. So every number is a multiple of 1. 0 is a multiple of every number. So 0 can be considered as the multiple of every number. Also note children that every number is a multiple of itself and that number is the smallest multiple of the number. Then the multiples of a number are never ending. It continues endlessly. You can write many 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 multiples of a number. But factors are limited. Factors are finite. A number has limited number of factors. Okay. List the first four multiples of 5. How to do this? 5 that is 5 1s are 5. 5 2s are 10. 5 3s are 15. 5 4s are 20. And we have the four multiples of 5. So first four multiples are 5, 10, 15 and 20. It is nothing but writing the tables of 5. List the first five multiples of 9. 9, 18, 27, isn't it? It is again like writing the tables of 9. 9 fours are 36 and 9 fives are 45. They have asked us to write the first five multiples. So I write it as 9, 18, 27, 36 and 45. These are the multiples of 9. Clear? Find the 7th multiple of 15. 7th multiple. The first multiple is 15. Second multiple is 30. Third multiple is 45. And it continues. But they have asked us to write the 7th multiple which can be found by multiplying 15 with 7. So 15 into 7. How much is it? 
7 5s are 35, 5 down, 3 carry, 7 1s are 7 plus 3 you get 10. So 15 into 7 is 105. You need to know the table of 15 then you don't have to multiply like this. So what is the answer? 105 is the 7th multiple of 15. Clear children? Find the common multiples of 5 and 10. Multiples of 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30. The multiples of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. I have written just few multiples. It can continue endlessly. You know it, isn't it? Now, what do you mean by common multiples? The multiples which are the multiples of 5 as well as 10. So here which are the common multiples? 10 is a common multiple. 20 is a common multiple. 30 is a common multiple. Correct? So the common multiples of 5 and 10 are 10, 20 and 30. I have just written 3 common multiples. You can find many of them. Okay? Find the common multiples of 4 and 5. Multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16 and 20. Multiples of 5, 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. Now, what are the common multiples? Can you compare the multiples of the two numbers and check? Yes, 20 is a common multiple there. The common multiple of 4 and 5 is 20. If you continue to write the multiples, you may get even more common multiples. I have written only one common multiple that is 20. Clear? The next is least common multiple. LCM. Least common multiple. In short, we call it as LCM. Okay? Least common multiple, the name itself suggests that it is a common multiple but the smallest one, the least one, the first one which is common among the given numbers. Smallest number that is a multiple of given numbers. If two numbers or more numbers are given, we have to pick a number which is a common multiple of all the given numbers plus it should be a smallest number. I repeat, the multiples which are common to the given numbers and it should be the smallest common multiple. Such a multiple is called least common multiple. Now to find this, we have two methods. One is listing method and the other is division method. Let us solve some of the problems using the two methods. Here, find the LCM of the following by listing method. Listing method means we need to list the multiples. Since we are supposed to find the least common multiple, we are listing the multiples. Don't list the factors here children. We need to find the LCM. M is multiples. So we need to list the multiples here. So multiples of 5. And multiples of 10. 5 we can write as 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Here 10 is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now, which is the least common? Common is 10, common is 20 and there is 30 and so on. But we need to take the least common multiple. So least is the smallest is 10. So LCM of 5 and 10 is 10. The second problem 12 and 8. Let us write the multiples of 12 and 8. Multiples of 12. Multiples of 8. 12, 24, 12 threes are 36, 12 fours are 48 and 12 fives are 60. 
you can write any number of multiples only thing is you need to get a least common multiple 8 is 8 16 24 32 and 40 now children here the least common is 24 because 24 is found in both the list so least common multiple is 24 so LCM of 12 and 8 is 24 I hope this is clear children let us find the LCM by division method this division method is also called as prime factorization method now let us solve the first problem 6 and 8 we have to find the LCM of 6 and 8 using the division method. So, we write 6, 8 and together we divide these two numbers by prime numbers. We start with the smallest prime number that is 2. Are these numbers divisible by 2? Yes, 6 and 8 are even numbers so I take 2. 2 3s are 6, comma, 2 4s are 8. Okay? Now, we further divide these numbers 3 and 4. Now, one is even number, the other is odd number. 4 is divisible by 2, but 3 is not divisible by 2. We take 2. 3 we write as it is. We do not divide it by 2 because it is not divisible. Then 2, 2 is 4. So I write 2 here. Okay. Now we further divide this. 3 and 2. Again I take 2. 3 is written as it is because it is not divisible by 2. Now 2, 1 is 2. Now once we finish with 2. We continue dividing. 3 is not divisible by 2. We take the next prime number that is 3. 3 is divisible by 3. So I take 3. Now 3 1s are 3, comma 1 we write as it is. So we have finished the division. To get the LCM, we multiply all these prime numbers together. Okay? So LCM is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Okay? We multiply together to get the LCM. 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8, 8 threes are 24. So 24 is the LCM of 6 and 8. Let us do the next problem. Here we have three numbers. We can find the LCM of three numbers also. So we take the same method. Common division 2, 4 and 6. Now we divide this with the first prime number that divides the numbers. 2, 4, 6 are even numbers. So we take the prime number 2. 2, 1s are 2, comma, 2, 2s are 4, comma, 2, 3s are 6. Now, we further divide this. 2 is divisible by 2, but 3 is not divisible by 2. So, we keep 3 as it is and we continue dividing by 2. 1 we write as it is. 2, 1s are 2, comma, 3 is not divisible, so write it as it is. Okay. Now, we further divide this. 3 is divisible by 3. So, now we take 3. 3, 1 is written as it is. 1 is written as it is. 3, 1s are 3. So, here we stop. And now, we multiply all the factors, that is the prime factors, and get the LCM. So, LCM is equal to 2 into 2 into 3. 2 2s are 4, 4 3s are 12. So we write 12 and 12 is the LCM of 2, 4s are 12.
4 and 6. Now the next problem 12, 15 and 18. Let us take the three numbers together 12, 15 and 18. So we commonly divide them by a prime number. Here 12 and 18 are even, 15 is odd. So we take the prime number 2. 2, 6 are 12, comma, 15 is not divisible by 2. So we write 15 as it is, comma, 2, 9s are 18. So I write 9. Now, 6 is even number. So I again take the prime number 2. 2, 3 is a 6. 2 doesn't divide 15, so I write as it is. 2 doesn't divide 9, so I write as it is. Now, all are odd numbers. So we go to the next prime number, 3. 3 divides 3, 3 divides 15, and also it divides 9. So we take 3. 3 ones are 3. 3 fives are 15, and 3 threes are 9. Okay? Now, we further divide 5 doesn't go with 3 but 3 divides 3 so we take 3 next 1 is written as it is 5 is not divisible so I write it as it is 3 1s are 3 ok now next 5 doesn't get divided by 3 so I take the next prime number that is 5 1 is written as it is 5 1s are 5 again 1 is written as it is. And here we stop. Now we have to multiply all these prime factors to get the LCM. So LCM is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. So now we multiply this. 2 twos are 4. 4 threes are 12. 12 threes are 36. 36 into 5. 36 into 5 is a big number. So you can multiply this in the side. 36 into 5. 5 6 are 30. 0. 3 carry. 5 3 is a 15. Plus 3 18. So it is 180. 36 into 5 is 180. So the LCM here is 180. We go to the next problem. 18 and 24. We divide it commonly. Since both are even numbers, I take the first prime number that is 2. 2 9s are 18 and 2 12s are 24. Now, 9 is not divisible by 2, but 12 is divisible by 2. So I take 2. 2 9 is written as it is, comma, 2. 6 is 12. Now, we further divide. We can take 2 because 6 is an even number. So, 2, 9 is written as it is. 2, 3 is a 6. Now, both are our numbers not divisible by 2. So, we can go with the next prime number 3. 3, 3 is a 9. 3, 1 is a 3. So it is understood. Next we can again take 3. 3 ones are 3. 1 is written as it is. Here we stop and multiply all the factors. So LCM is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Now 2 twos are 4. 4 twos are 8. 8 threes are 24. 24 into 3, you can do it in the side. 3 fours are 12, 1 carry, 3 to the 6, 7. So the answer is 72. Got it children? Just remember that we take only the prime numbers to divide them commonly. Okay? Here I come to the end of the lesson children. I will send some problems for you to work out in your notebook. Until I come back with the next concept, take care children. Thank you.